Welcome back. We're going to do round uh, three. It's a small project, so it's not huge. Um, going to work with the gray yarn. Uh, I'm going to put red yarn over so it's guided there. I'm going to make two chains. Chain two. Pull it. Pull that. Hmm? It's the wrong one. <laughs> I was pulling it. Pull that red yarn a little bit tighter. See? Pull tighter. Not too tight. Not massively. Because then... And do a single crochet. And we're going to find the corner. And that's here. I know that. Because... I did a lot of in the round and you'll get a feeling for that corner. It's here, it's that chain one you did in the previous round and I need to grab all the yarn and not just a few strings because there are two single crochets in it, a chain and a single crochet. So you do a single crochet in it, a chain and a single crochet. And now the pattern starts. We do one double crochet and one double crochet is after the corner is right under this single crochet and that is here. That lands in that first stitch you made and we're going, I will show you again. It's a single crochet, a double crochet, sorry, front loop only because we do normal mosaic now. And it is here, this one. See, it goes right under this corner because we made, make a little V. The other one goes under here, this corner there. Yarn over, front loop only, lift it up, grab it, and there goes your first double crochet of your border. Yay! And we make a lot in the back border because in the back border it's only double crochets because your only is on the back. Of course, you can make the pattern. You repeat the pattern on the back too. If you prefer that, I will do just a simple back and you can do the simple back at the front too if you don't want a pattern so that's nice so you see two ways uh and then it's five single crochets one two three four five and then a double crochet again And then five singles. Let me kijk. See, we skip one, so it's this one. Back loop. One, two, three, four, five, and a double crochet. In here, there, double crochet. Take your time. It's fun. This is fun. This is fun. I love this. <laughs> Five singles. One, two, three, four, five, and a double crochet. There it is, front loop, two rows down, skip one at the back, eh? five, one, two, three, four, five, and here we are, this is the corner, this is the single crochet we need to cover. With a double crochet, and we do that in this one here at the corner. See that loop, that front loop. Yarn over, pull through. Don't put too much tension on that corner, don't pull it too hard. And then automatically the corner shows, and we make a corner. Single crochet, chain one, and a single crochet. And then we repeat the pattern. We need to repeat our pattern four times before um, making one round. So I'll fold it automatically a little bit double here because I don't want to have all those yarn there. The first one is a double crochet. We're going to abuse that same loop here. There, that is your first double crochet because that is your 
first loop two rows down see and now we're going to do five single crochets back loop only two three four and five and we're going to do a single crochet single crochet row down grab it up and then we're going to do a double crochet of course as I said single so I need to think and to do it at the same time it's not that easy always can you see my hands oh this is maybe better oh I'm so sorry I hope you could see it sometimes it's difficult to see what I see and what you don't see this is better I hope oh I hope I don't have to redo this all one two oh three four five I didn't know my lamp was aimed wrong sometimes so oh, such a professional videographer ain't I I honestly don't mind doing this video but it's not really my um, my strongest point as you know what I mean uh, because uh, it is um, yeah how do I say it's it isn't I need it because you need it but I rather crochet and uh, go on or design but sometimes it's handy when people know how I do things uh, each um, designer uh, has his accents but sometimes I sometimes videos are so professional but I have none of that <laughs> profession here under my skill set i can crochet i'm a reasonable crocheter i'm not the best i'm a designer i'm a slow crocheter and maybe some people here are screaming at their screen you do it wrong it's never done like that these corners i do the corner like this because i like it and it's easy for me to find them and what's easy for me is maybe also easy for you i don't know but let's try it okay here comes the corner and i'm going to look for my ah it's here see it's here we're going to skip this one that is covering that one and we're going to make our double crochet in this corner there there that's your first double crochet or your last double crochet and then automatically the corner peeps up here there one and a single crochet and a, a, a single crochet now one a chain single crochet <laughs> I really can't believe myself sometimes that you all dare to watch this okay first one is a double and it covers the first single crochet there getting pain in my arm and then we go into do five singles I need to put my work here so you see it better I hope you can see it now one two three four five and a double crochet it's just a little fantasy pattern I made re really quickly up for a border it's nothing fancy it's just to show you how uh, a pattern in a border works so it's I can show you an easy border which will be in the back this is the one with the pattern and I will say that in the description so you can look at the easy border first one two three four uh, go through go come on come on pick up pick up come on pick up ah <laughs> sometimes Where am I here? Three. Oh, it's so easy to make these videos, but not high. Five. Yay, I am there. And then your double crochet. And then five again. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to make a coffee after this. And then your double crochet, hops a case, hops a case, and then five singles, one, two, three, four, five, and 
two, three, four, if I can get it, four, and five, and then the last double crochet of this part of the round here, and we need to find it, it's in front, and this is covering that one, there, there, it's this one, see, it's this one, you have to search a little bit, take your time to find it under it, and then this peep is our corner, a single crochet, a chain, and a single crochet, all in the same back loop of that stitch, and look, it's going to get a pattern already, wow, Wow, see? <laughs> Sorry. A double crochet again in that same loop here as we used in the last stitch of that previous row. See, a round has four rows. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I will show it when I zoom out. One. There. This is our last row of rounds. Three because it repeats four times. Sometimes when the pattern has, sometimes I make a pattern. I making now a pattern with four different sides of a border, and each side is described. So don't worry, I will describe each stitch when it's a border with four different sides, and it's easier than you think. You just have to count. That's all. And I'm so great in counting because I had to rip out this stitch. I think I foofled a little bit here too again because I am like that. One, two, three. I can foofle a little bit here and there. Three. Here. Five. Six. Seven. And double crochet. And one, two, three, four, five. One. Two. Three, four, five, and I write these rows out, you know, the five single crochet, one double crochet, because it's extremely hard to get these stitches, you know, the repetitives, automatically. Uh, if I do anything by hand, I, 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 my pattern goes wrong because I can't write a pattern by hand. I need to let Excel generate my stitches. If I don't do it, ask Carolina, it will end up really badly and you can't follow it. So I leave the repeats in. I only found a solution for the one single crochet, one double crochet repeated often. Uh, which you will see in this pattern, but otherwise it's written out and um, if it's a huge repeat uh, like the bear pattern um, That border I broke it up and I said 20 times this little paw and 26 times on the side so I tried to do my best to uh, Get all the repeats, but it's not that easy really and uh, I'm already happy I found the double and the singles repeat so we can do that but to find the others is not easy to me three four five it's here five was have to in the bokken sloeg ze wijf echt waar i don't know why but still the rhyme is still in my memory and the last one is a double crochet and we use the same stitch as we did in our first crochet, double crochet of the round. So you go in it and make your last double crochet. Pull your yarn a little bit through further. Find that the first V here and pull it through. And there. And we can change our color. Look at these. Isn't this nice? Isn't this nice? I like it. I like it. There. 